What's it like being a corrections officer? I was one in Wilmington, North Carolina at 0125 New Hanover Correctional Center across from the airport. It is, it's weird at first, you know, going to work and going into a fucking, you know, prison. Um, but it quickly wears off. And if you're a people person, and you're secure in your life outside of there, it's a really boring fucking job. I mean, it's a great job if you're a little guy or a bitchy woman that doesn't have control of their life and you wanna feel good about yourself, it's great. But if you don't need that type of shit, it's not really gonna be a job. If you're a thinker or you're a problem solver, or if you're going, well, fuck, putting people in cages doesn't really change them because they come back again. So what the fuck are we doing? Just babysitting people, I guess, you know? And you just start thinking, and then you realize that it's an industry, you know? That these people get contracted to take these people down to the, um, down to the library or the uh, hospital to do the laundry. And they get a kickback. They make the state's uniforms. They make this. Um, I don't know if they make license plates anymore. Who knows? That probably got fucking farmed out. But I'm just telling you, I'm not saying every corrections officer is an asshole, but about 90% of them are little bitches. You know, like, they're not people that are, are good people. 90% of them, just like police officers, 90% of them are fucking morons in real life. 90%. You know, um, I would see inmates out on the street or at the clubs when I bounced on the weekends that inmates that got out never had any problems or anything like that because I treated people with respect and, you know, I don't like being mean to people. So I don't like using my size to fucking intimidate people. And I'm definitely not going to try to hurt somebody that's fucking locked up and away from their family. So it's really, you know, it's a fucking, it's a depressing job. It's the most depressing job I've ever had in my life and I would never do it again.